Okay, moving right along, uh, 236 Hanover Street. This is the site of the former um, store, Filthy Rich. Um, Pam Gallo is the owner, and uh, an application has been filed in the Zoning Board of Appeals for Zoning Meeting to change the allowed use of the first floor of the commercial space for coffee shops, additional use. Coffee shop owners, um, Andre Sadowski and Hugh Geiger, who operate the Thinking Cup on um, uh, 165 Fremont Street, are planning to go into this location and open a coffee shop. So which one is Hugh and which one is Andre? I'm Hugh Geiger. Hugh Geiger. And I'm Andre Sadowski. Welcome. Madam President, members of the board, uh, members of the community, my name is Hugh Geiger and I'm the owner of uh, Thank You Cup. I'm here with my partner, Andre Sadowski. We presently own a location at 165 Tremont Street, across from the Boston Common. We've been open since December of 2010, and uh, we've uh, gathered a quite a bit of success with that operation, and we're looking to expand to the north end. We, uh, in July of 2011, we were awarded the uh, Best of Boston as far as a golf shop category. And uh, recently, we were uh, voted one of the top 10 coffee shops in the United States. A piece of seat, the CNBC. So we're here to uh, your support. And uh, again, this is at 236 Hanover Street. It's presently a retail location, and we're looking to uh, change that to a uh, coffee shop. Will there be any cooking here? There will be uh, baking. We'll have, yeah, we'll have electric uh, ovens, and there will be no, uh, there's no vent required. Couple convection ovens. Convection ovens? Yeah. What will you be baking? We'll be baking all kinds of fresh pastries from you know, breakfast pastries, croissants, muffins, uh, scones, um, and we're gonna do tiramisu, uh, bonbons, uh, anything you do us, you will need another French patisserie. Are you gonna have the same menu you have at uh, 165? Um, Street? Uh, probably our base room may not be good. Are you serving sandwiches as well? Or? Yeah, we yeah. Do you have a menu? Did you bring a menu? Yeah, right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, okay. Great. We have breakfast sandwiches that we serve all day. And they're very popular. Our neighbors love us. And we are right, right downtown, next to the Ritz Carlton. We have people coming for breakfast all the time. What are your hours? Of, what do you what do you even call? Do you even call this place thinking cup? Yes. Thinking cup. And what are your hours of operation going to be? We are originally requested 7 a.m. to midnight, but during the week and 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. But we, after talking to the friend, the other neighborhood association, we right. said that we're going to change those hours. We're going to be from 7 o'clock in the morning till 11. Sunday to Wednesday, okay. and Thursday to Saturday will be open 7 p.m. till 11 till midnight. We're not going to serve all, all course, just pastries and coffee. So we are part of a new concept that's very popular in New York, uh, and uh, especially in the Netherlands. We are called third wave coffee shops. So what it is, is basically we have a little bit different approach coffee. We have a direct relationship with the farmers all over the world. And our roaster called Stamptown is considered to be one of the best roasters in the world. And, and we are able to get the coffee freshly roasted from them you know, the next day, Tuesday. Right now they just open roast me in Brooklyn, New York. So you, so you, you submitted to us some of your plans, right, for what, how you yeah. renovate? Yeah. So how many seats do you have? We think you know, we're probably going to have about 60 seats. Probably, or you're going to have 60 seats? Well, that's preliminary, but I, I walked ahead about 60 seats. Have you, have you arranged for trash pickups? Yeah, we're going to use the same company that we're using right now every day. In the morning, yeah. And how about signage? Uh, I think we're going to use the regular sign, but there is a one that was very not assuming on it that's like next door already. You know, something that's just going to be, yeah, 
no neon lights. No. You've got, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Thinking Gap on Trading Street. You know, we don't. We have, is it going to be a chain? No. It's going to be our second location. So on Tremont Street, you don't you don't serve beer wine? No. It's just a coffee shop? Yeah. And that's not part of the plan? No. On the end of the street? Now you need a, we offer alternative methods of brewing coffee. We have espresso based drinks, but also you know, our pour overs. And we're gonna introduce a new way of brewing coffee, which is the siphon bar. So very popular in Japan and probably produces the best cup of coffee you can ever get. So you said you're gonna bake. And my, I guess my question is what are you gonna bake in? I mean you're gonna have to put an oven in there, right? Yeah. Or some kind of convection ovens, yeah. And you don't need a hood for that? No. That doesn't require putting a hood in? No. And just I know your location on Tremont Street would be on the Celtic and Emerson dorms right around there, right? Um, I've been there a few times, so I understand the client. Uh, what, what do you expect in terms of <coughs> clientele here? Uh, you well, expect tourists, you expect neighborhood? Uh, so I, mean, I think we have, from our base, base kind of bed right now on Tremont Street, definitely you know, residents in the area. I think people all of us from anywhere from you know, residences in Grandview, to POC, Archstone, Ritz Carlton residences, they all come there. Uh, it's very we have really good reviews on that. And of course, we're going to attract a lot of tourists. I mean, that's just a general way that you know, we're getting popular and people write about us, blog about us. Is it going to be like an internet campaign? No, you're not going to have Wi-Fi. We won't be very strict about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're going to have live background music, nothing more. It's just going to be like that. Uh, just the background music comes from the scenes Yeah, the no Wi Fi kind of distinguishes from other cafes. And I would say about 80% of our customers like the fact that we have no Wi Fi. They just want to come and socialize with friends and family, enjoy their coffee, not hearing, you know, typing on the keyboard. So it's, it's something that uh, we decided about a year and a half ago that we're going to do it and we're going to stick with it as part of our concept. Yeah, we, have, we have very characteristic ambience that we create in our coffee shop. And it's very small to something like you go to Paris and you sit down and have a conversation with your friend. Uh, and, you know, and enjoying an excellent kind of coffee. What if, uh, um, don't you need a, a takeout license too? Don't you need like 36A? Yes. Don't you need a CV license? Yeah, yeah. we have five yeah. I, I, I that. So are you asking, I mean, what are you asking for tonight? I'm just, I'm just asking questions. I'm not trying to be a pain. Well, we're asking for your approval, first of all. But for a CV or to change the zoning? For, no, we got to change from a uh, retail. Yep, to a coffee shop, right? Because the CV license goes to the licensing board. Right. And this is only asking that you change the retail space from commercial to a coffee shop. That's correct. I mean, I'm just trying to be specific, that's all. What he's asking you is, have you also applied to... Yes. One? I don't have a copy of that application. Oh, we have it for CV license, not yet. You have applied for, for CV? For CV license, no. No. First, I think the first step would be to change Although you will the takeout. We, 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 we amended our application for the takeout, and we, that's that's all in the world. As far as the 36A, I think it is, takeout license. Takeout. Yes. Do you have a copy of the amended application? I will send it to you tomorrow. So you kind of... I understand what you're doing. You're basically saying we're going to try to change the zoning first before we do anything else. Did they tell you to amend it? No, we, we, we our, our architect failed to um, to include the 36A. So in our last meeting with the zone, the 26th of March with the other neighborhood association, they pointed it out. We made the correction the following day to, to amend it to include 36A. And I'm only asking for your sure. sake because these are things that Absolutely. always pop up. And they're not really uh, very thorough with telling you what you need. So. <laughs> Yeah, Nicole, I have a question about the 60 seats. Is it 60 actual chairs, or is it couches and other well, means for people to seat, or is it 60 tables and chairs for 60 people? We're thinking about, they've got a truck, there's going to be some bar stools, just because the, the area is very narrow. Yeah. So some of the parts of the rooms will have comfortable uh, seats, leather seats with, with 
chairs. So it's going to be 66 now. <coughs> yeah, it's going to be 66. Yeah. Is there a table service? No. Talk about the notification. Okay. So on the, uh, it was the 21st, we sent out a letter to all the abutters to uh, the address. And uh, that was on the 21st. It was a letter, and I think I sent you a copy as well. Yes. No, I just so that everybody else can hear. Yeah, we, we sent all the addresses that we got down on file. Yeah. We didn't get anybody going against it so far. We didn't hear from anybody. You haven't heard from anybody? Right. Okay. Um, so I'm just, I'm just a little concerned. Yeah. 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 And it's going to look very similar to the one on Tremont. Right. Is it going to be that? Yeah, yeah. Is it going to be like very, retrofit from? I mean, we're trying to promote our product and the brand will speak for itself. You don't have to be very flashy. No, All right. The people will definitely try to find us. To shop, look at the one I walk by, the one on Tremont. I mean, that's the place. Is it, going to, is it going to look the same on the outside? Yeah, it's going to be very similar. It's the same atmosphere, the same colors. And, you know, we use a lot of. Uh, Wood elements, brick elements, and then we, we reclaim lumber for our, you know, for our furniture. And our, I actually made them myself. I made all the tables myself. I don't know if you have been there. Each table is made out of old newspapers, and we put an epoxy over it. And there's some artistic elements to every table. So every table is different. It has some it includes a story from what have happened in Boston back in the centuries ago to, you know, 50 years ago. Do you, do you want, I'm going to ask some crazy questions, do you, do you, you recycle, right? So you sound like a guy who likes to recycle and stuff. Yeah. And you're clean, right? Up and down, yeah, right? Yeah. All the lights are LED lights. We they may have awesome. come out the wrong way, but I'd like to make sure the neighborhood stays clean. Of and we're trying to make it cleaner. Yeah, we attract you know, totally different clientele than that, you know, as you, you know, our customers are very conscious about, you know, disposing of trash. Like if you walk around our place, you'll find a lot of, you know, we're next to movie theaters, so we'll find caps, Coca-Cola caps, and we there, and we'll pick them up, because we have to clean up. But I never found any of our, our caps laying around, so, you know, I think it's still several hours lying down, and they're really conscious of what they're doing. I have to tell you that I'm a little, I'm a little bit concerned because I've spent an awful lot of time with both of you, um, back and forth with phone calls and emails, and this is the first time hearing that you amended the application. So, um, when did, exactly did you do that, and why won't you send a copy immediately? Well, actually, let me straighten it up because I think okay. my partner. Okay. We didn't have to amend it. I I went after the meeting. I went back to the city and I said whatever number was actually included in it. So we don't have to do any changes to it. Would you say that one more time? After, after the meeting, went to what yeah, meeting? After the meeting with that new room, the new room, the ZLC meeting. Yeah. Yeah, because. And, and I find out there's something wrong with this uh, PayPal license. I went to 10th and Mass Avenue and I talked to the, one of the uh, guys at the door and he pulled out my application and he said, You all said we actually have my take on it. It was just a miscommunication, maybe. Who said they already had taken over? Um, one of the people at Tintin Mass, the Board of Appeal. Okay. Okay. So you actually have an amended application that says. No, we didn't have to do it. Originally fine. There was, there was no amendment required because it was originally fine. It was just a miscommunication. No, it's not on the application. It's not on the application. It's not on the application. Well, that's what he's trying to say, is it? Yeah, it's not on the application. 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 Yeah, it's not on the but so it doesn't say that you have an updated one because when they can't vote on it if it's not yeah. on if it's not on the updated denial letter from the zoning board. We vote on the applications that are before us. You're asking us to give support or opposition to an application, and the application I have does not take they take out service. Um, 
That's why we have to probably. I can. I'm sure that's been. A, I, I made the word amendment incorrect. I, I'll get the correct copy to you tomorrow. I thought you had it. They didn't right. give you a copy of it. I I thought that the copy you had. You know when I. Uh, do you have a copy of your application? Not, not with me. No, I do not. Hold on. When's your day at CBA? May eight. May Business, so I'm going to be here 
the day for pretty much making sure everything is fine. I hate trash, that's why. That's why I think it's going to say recycle, trash, clean. Uh, the good thing is you're not a restaurant, so it's not going to be grease in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's cleaner garbage, I guess. That's, it's an oxymoron, but it's clean garbage. And this is in addition to your, your um, location on Tremont. You're not called from Tremont. No, no. Not at all. I mean, Tremont is doing excellent. I think that's because some people honestly they don't care how they put the trash out yeah. and it's aggravating. Well, we just we want have, to be a good you know, neighbor. Keep I want to a difference team. between most coffee shops. We have full time, two, two full time cleaners on staff. I mean, I'm obsessed with being clean. I mean, if you go to our places, I've been to your restaurant. If you go to restroom in your toilet, and it's going to be better <coughs> than you know four seasons toilet for clean. So we are obsessed with being very clean. Understood. So that, if we vote on what we have before us, is it, I mean, you're saying we don't have the complete We don't have the complete application. Is there a way to vote? I think we can vote Conditionally, on I think we can vote on it to reduce. We don't, we don't usually do that. We've been trying not to do those conditional votes, but I think there's a way that if, if the council wants to do so, that we could take a vote, and then it's going to be dependent upon getting the paperwork from you. Um, so we wait where they're going to miss the hearing. Yes, that's right. No, I understand. No, I understand. Because you know what, in all honesty, it's probably not their mistake. I don't know. You're telling me it's not your mistake. I know how ISD operates. Sometimes they're not the, the most efficient agency in the country, and I'm being generous by even saying that. Um, so how about I motion to support with the condition that um, when you show up to the Zoning Board of Appeals on May 8th, yes. I work in City Hall, so I'm going to come up on May 8th. If you don't produce that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that they know that. Okay. Is that well, fair? Yes, well, I, I would well, actually you know, like to receive it before that. Yeah. We'll yeah. yeah, obviously, but still, even though we receive it, I want to make sure that the Zoning Board of Appeals, I mean, I just want to make sure that they're on, on that day, that's all. Yeah, but I write the letter <coughs> as president of the clinic, and I don't write the letter unless I have that in front of me. I understand, of course. Because there's two letters now. We have to send one to the licensing board and one to ZBA. Do you 36 A C B A also. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we don't have to worry. Okay, so it's all C because it's it's takeout service, it's not an actual license. Okay. Okay. Very um can I just ask you, do you have any letters from the butters that you sent them? Oh I have that. Oh, I have a list. <coughs> my, 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 my second question is all you're showing us is the deceiving plan. Like, what is the kitchen in the restaurant called? Where are the bathrooms? Mm -hmm. Usually they show you the whole floor for you. Okay. Yeah, well, the bathrooms are in, in the rear. Uh, and you have to, you know, I want to have my glasses on. Yeah. And the kitchen will be glass. very glass. straightforward. It's going to be open an area with a couple of women. I, 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 the, the most is what I have a problem with the hours. I have a problem with the hours. No, no, we can't. No, 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 and honestly, probably we might be the same thing, but we'd like to add one way shower just in case. So, is it, is it possible to, to make a motion? <coughs> is it? I don't mean it sounds so complicated. You know, the fact that we don't have all this stuff makes everything sound so complicated. And I have another question. I'm sorry to keep asking questions, but what about the CV license? Well, CV license, we're going to, as soon as we go to the Board of Appeal. And then they determine that hours of operation they apply for the CV, correct? Well, they're going to say the hours of operation that they settled on with the ZLC meeting and they're carrying through. They're going to tell them that they wanted to Sunday through Wednesday, 7 to 11, and Friday and Saturday, 7 to midnight. Just, just to clarify, this is on our agenda for Thursday night. Okay. For a vote. Okay. So are they going to go separately for the CV, or is this like, because I don't see a CV act. I don't mean to keep going on that part. It's two, it's two different uh, boards. They'll have to go to the licensing board for the CV, and then the zoning board for the zoning change and the takeout. 36A, right? Right. So I don't, 
Yeah. Are they going to have to come again for a CV license? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to need yeah. more. All right, I got you. All right, I understand. I'm sorry. Usually everyone just comes and says, hey, this is what we want, and we vote. They don't have the application. They don't have the application in. They don't have the application in to the licensing board right. to get this, so. Yeah. But if we want to change the use, we have to, we're voting. He's going to ZBA, and the ZBA is where you, you get um, you get your 36A. The CV is through the licensing board. So, I mean, I, I'd like to motion to support um, change, of use. change of use, but with the receipt, knowing that you're going to send Donna a copy of the amended application. If you don't send a copy of the amended application, we won't write the letter, and I will be at the Zoning Board of Appeals. Absolutely. All right? They can do that Thursday night, too. They have to go to New Rock on Thursday night, so they have to have it by Thursday. Okay, that's cool. So, all right, so let's, let me let me motion to support um, 236 Hanover Street, um, um, changing the allowed use of the first floor from commercial space to a coffee shop upon receipt of the amended application. I'll okay. second that. So, it's been second. Okay, all in favor? No one's opposed? Okay, congratulations. You're unanimous. I hope you understand um, that we, we need to have all of this so we're taking it to work. So get that to me as soon as you can, and then um, I will write the letter. Thank you for your time. Good luck.